feelings. Whoa, 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 feelings. <laughs> oh, okay, didn't come to hear the tenor. Let's talk for a little bit. This is a really cool book I found. I don't know where or why, but there you go. It's aging as a spiritual practice, like you have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, a contemplative guide to growing older and wiser. Well, now that I can get around, get my head around, because we always hope for the best that way. I think it's, um, you know, it's a good time for some more spaciousness if you aren't working two jobs in the capitalist um, dollar store economy. It's time to reflect and be great ancestors. Think about how we want to be with ourselves and um, what we can contribute to future generations. Uh, just like indigenous uh, people have thought seven generations forward, we're, we can at least, um, you know, kind of claw our way out of this capitalist, greedy, savage uh, society and, and say we care about what's happening in the future. And uh, we want to change the way the direction of our society to to stop climate change and to really move forward with a more peaceful and generous world. That begins with Y-O-U, being peaceful and generous. And here's a, a little reflection from, from um, Lewis Richmond that I like a lot. It reminds me of a lake I swam in growing up in the Adirondacks in the summertime. My folks would take us camping in tents and got to swim at Indian Lake every summer. It just takes me right there. And see if you can find a little lake in your, in your heart that you can be with as you uh, listen to this uh, meditation. <clears throat> Calm Lake. This reflection is best done in a meditation posture. sitting in a chair or on a cushion, but I have also had good success doing it while sitting in a doctor's office, waiting room, or in an airport lounge. It is good medicine for agitation or worry, but it can be done as a regular practice regardless of your state of mind. Some members of my meditation group like it better than breath meditation. They like the fact that it is visual. Begin by picturing or imagining a small lake it helps if you can remember a real lake that you once visited. It should be small enough so that you can see the whole outline of the shore. Fill in the surroundings with an imagined detail. Imagine that the shore is lined with maple and oak. Let them be the green of spring or the brilliant yellows and reds of fall. If you are imagining the lake scene, it usually helps to do so with your eyes closed. Another method is to select a postcard or small photograph of a lake scene and put it in front of you. If you do this, look at it with half-closed eyes and a soft gaze, at least until the scene is vividly in your mind's eye. Enter the scene and imagine yourself sitting lakeside, gazing out over the, the water. The water represents your state of mind, so to take a moment to tune into your state. Um, so take a moment to tune into your state of mind. If you are doing the calm lake meditation because you are worried, agitated, or anxious, there will be waves both in your mind and on the lake. Scan your body to see how this agitation feels physically. Just go inside and scan for a second here and see how, that, how you're feeling inside. Butterflies in the stomach, tightness in the chest, and constriction in the throat are all physical signs of tension and stress. Now return to your image of the lake and picture the weather there are as a reflection of your state of mind. If your thoughts are agitated and choppy, picture the water as agitated and choppy. If your mood is dark and cloudy, picture the skies as dark and cloudy. It was a dark and cloudy night. Just watch the weather from the lake shore as a disinterested observer. 
let the weather develop its own visual details. Perhaps the trees on the opposite shore are waving ominously in the wind. Perhaps the water near your feet is hitting the shore with noisy lapping. Fill in the whole scene with as much detail as possible. Now imagine that you have some magic power over the weather on the lake so that merely by wishing it to be, you can gradually calm the weather down. Little by little, the surface of the lake becomes less agitated and more smooth. Its condition may go back and forth for a while. You may feel the lake growing calmer, and then it may kick up again, reflecting a new burst of mental agitation. Be patient, soothe the surface of the lake and the weather around it with kindness and patience. In the end, it is your image, your lake. It can be what you want it to be. As you continue to relax into the calm waters of the lake, how do you feel now? Spend a few minutes tuning in to the changes feeling in your body, to the changing feelings in your body. How do your arms feel now, your skin, your face? And how does your breath feel as you rest your gaze on the now glassy surface of the calm lake? Include that meant that feeling in your awareness and let it be let it fill your whole body. What a great idea. Now think of your breath as helping your maintain your focus. Let your breath flow naturally in and out without pressure or strain. Let it be delicate and quiet. Think of your breath as mirroring and reflecting the glassy smooth surface of the lake. You want to breathe smoothly so as not to ruffle the waters. Gradually let your attention shift, focusing less on the image of the calm lake and more on this feeling of your breath, letting the feeling of the lake merge into the feeling of your breath. Your, your breathing has now absorbed the feeling of the calm lake. Let that feeling abide and continue in your body and breathing. Remain that way for as long as you feel comfortable. This is the essence of the calm lake meditation. It takes a while to describe, but doing it is smooth and quick. To review, it has three stages. In the first stage, either looking at a picture with open eyes or imagining the scene with your eyes closed. You establish the image of the lake and gradually see the lake as smooth and calm. In the second stage, you adopt Adjust your breathing to mirror the calm feeling of the lake. In the third, you let the image of the lake fade and melt into your relaxed, smooth breathing. Your breathing becomes the lake. Your mind becomes the breathing. Some people find the image of a calm lake immediately soothing and natural. Others have more difficulty connecting to it. As an alternative to a lake, you can also picture a mountain solid, snow-capped, Mount Rainier, Mount Baker. Every hundred miles, we got a volcano going down the coast, uh, the left coast of America. It's just a miracle. So you can pick any one of those volcanoes or your other favorite mountain and make that your meditation point. If you use the mountain image, you may want to replace the surface of the lake as a representation of your state of mind with an image of snow on the mountain swirling in the wind. As your mind calms, the wind dies down, the snow settles, and the image of the mountain becomes sharp and clear. With either image, the point is to picture expansiveness and stillness. And by holding your attention on that picture, absorb that stillness into your own body. Through this meditation, we transform the horizontal stream of our inner dialogue into a single stable moment, renewing itself on each breath. Done regularly, especially when you are agitated or upset, even five or ten minutes of this meditation can offer great benefit. And even when you are not upset, Calm Lake is a wonderful centering exercise for daily living. So there you have it. Hope that's useful. Calm Lake. The book again is Aging as a Spiritual Practice by uh, Lewis Richmond. Got the book if you're inspired and find yourself doing that lake meditation and 
bring in some joy into your life so that you can be of service to others and uh, plant seeds of peace out there in this turbulent time. We have to um, um, practice this beautiful gift of loving awareness to ourselves and then send it on to other people so that we grow that greener, more just world that we all think about. All right, you take care now.